Right, I'm in Holford St Mary's churchyard. I've been inside the church. It's very peaceful in there. Not very grand, just basic. It's got a lovely feeling inside it. Like I said, I've got a friend who was a bell ringer. She lives in that great big house over there, that big white creamy one, which she did with her children. And um, I'll just shut this door a minute. I'm just walking around. I'm just going to have a piece of cake and a drink. There's an old cross here. This is where I nor don't normally come to the church. I normally come to Holford to walk on the hills. But, um... It's a bad place to walk because of the ticks, like I said. The girl I knew that lived in that big house, she had Lyme's disease from the ticks. They could be in here, see, it could be anywhere. Right, I'm going to look for old Fox and House. I'm over at Holford. In the background, you might hear some sort of a noise. That's the, the lovely streams of Holford Glen. <coughs> old Fox and House is where William Wordsworth stayed with his sister Dorothy for a couple of years while Coleridge lived up the road, where they created a lot of their famous works. So I always know that. Um, as a small child, I identified this area of beauty, for a very small child, I've always loved this. In fact, I wanted my ashes scattered up here once, but um, I now I want them on the Glastonbury. I thought I'd take um, the root of um, the whole of uh, Somerset, rather than just one small beautiful place. So Glastonbury represents everything. But I do love this place. It's um, recognised as one of the Britain's most gorgeous places. Um, Robin Hood with Kevin Costner, part of that was made up in these um, these areas. But apparently Old Fox and House, where Wordsworth lived for a while, um, is up for sale. So anyway, he said three quarters of a mile. Now I am running very short of time now and I might not be able to fit in those other places I wanted to go to. That might have to be yet another trip. So a lot of the churches will be shut now. It might not be any point in actually 
even visiting them. Right, it's a very bumpy road, but I have got a mountain bike. That's a good thing about having this bike, really. But you see all these views here. They wouldn't really have been a lot different when um, William Wordsworth was up here. He said, I'd go so far up a bumpy track, then I'll come to a cattle, cattle grid. But you see, they would have walked around here. I'm capturing the places walked by famous poets. Coleridge would have come up here as well with Wordsworth. They would have visited each other. Um, other people would have come. Of course, they wouldn't have had tarmac at all in those days. It would be an old track just like that there, look. So we might even bump into a deer yet. God. What I've got to remember is every time I go down a hill, I've got to come back up it. And I've got 14 miles to get back to Bridgewater on a very dangerous road. I'm just doing a bit of this. Don't want to get so far and then um, I turn back and I'd only have to go another 100 yards or something. I didn't think it was this far up. This is all for the part of my beautiful Somerset. We'll go a little bit further. I'm on the Quantocks, everyone, up near Holford Glen. I went to Nether Stowey earlier, visited the old Castle Mound, Baileys, where a nice old couple looked after my bike for an hour for me. I went in College's house, which has been substantially changed over the years. Ah, here's the cattle grid. This leads up to where Wordsworth lived. It's up for sale. Oh. I keep doing that, don't I? Right. I don't know if anyone lives in this place, by the way. It doesn't say we can't come here, does it? This is going to be the last thing now. I'm going to leave um, Doddington and Stringston churches for another day now because um, I can do that when I'm heading to the, the coast looking for fossils. So I need to do Sigursey and Hinkley Point. Right, so I'm walking up the drive here. I mean, it might still be a hotel, I've got no idea. It could be derelict. But it's where William Wordsworth, the poet, lived. I've got some details somewhere about which poems he done. Because I did William Wordsworth for A-level. He was part of the, one of the poets I had to do, along with John Dunn. Herbert Spencer, I think it was one. Oh, and several others. Metaphorical parrots were hard. What we don't want is a bloody great big German Shepherd. Or even, you know, I don't mind worried by them so much. Um, what the man the sort of dogs called? Um, Rockweilers. And um, bull mastiffs. And um, American pit bulls. I don't know if this is it. I'm not going to go much further than this anyhow. I can see deer. I can see deer through there. Oh, they dare me coming, wouldn't they? That's not even a sign. It could be what's called cultivated deer, which means they're the sort of deer that you 
deliberately keep as pets. Now through the, the trees over there, there's a building. This could be Coleridge's place. He would have walked these grounds. These were his grounds. Where he came to think. I said we don't want to meet a big nasty dog, do we? I think you're probably allowed to walk through here, see? Of course it would have changed a lot. Wouldn't it? It's a bit derelict, doesn't it? But that is the back of the house. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered. Excuse the expression, everyone. Right, turning off for a minute. 